In this video, we will explore another important object-oriented programming concept that is inheritance. In the real world, we often categorize things into hierarchies with the more general things at the top and specialized ones towards the bottom. Similarly, in object-oriented world, we group classes in inheritance hierarchies. Let's take an example of an online gaming library that has a collection of games. There may be some common features and some special features for different types of games. They have organized their collection into a hierarchy of classes like this. A general game class is at the root of the hierarchy. The classes board game, action game, puzzle, etc. are specialized games. Board game can have other specialized games like chess, checkers. Similarly, action game has special action games like racing game, shooting game and puzzle can have word puzzle and jigsaw. The more general class is called the super class. The most specialized class is called the subclass. We can also say that subclass is a superclass. A puzzle is a specialized game, which means it is a subclass of game. We denote inheritance by a solid arrow with a hollow triangle tip that points to a superclass. We have represented the gaming hierarchy in a class diagram here. When designing a hierarchy of classes, we should ask ourselves which properties and behaviors are common to all the classes we are designing. Those common properties and behaviors are placed in a superclass. More specialized properties and behaviors can be found in subclasses. Let's start by implementing the game class. The game class declares instance variables for username and user age. It defines a method for getting user details and also has methods for starting and stopping a game. We can also say that the subclass extends the superclass. When someone wants to play a puzzle, first an object of puzzle will be created and start method called. This is the output when we run the program. But we did not define a start method or instance variables for username and age in puzzle. Since puzzle extends game, it automatically gets all the instance variables and methods defined in game. So we can say that inheritance is a mechanism for reusing the class. A subclass inherits the methods of a superclass. The instance variables declared in the superclass are present in the subclass objects. Let's recap. In this video, we learned about inheritance. Inheritance defines ease a relationships between superclasses and subclasses. Common properties and behaviors are placed in a superclass. More specialized properties and behaviors can be found in subclasses. Inheritance is a mechanism for reusing the class. A subclass inherits the methods of its superclass. The instance variables declared in the superclass are present in the subclass objects.